Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. So I did say I wanted to do an ultrasound update, which was the day of the reveal. And I wanted to do that in a mukbang style. So let me show you what I got. I don't know what it is about this pregnancy, but I just, I'm, I've been feeling bacon, crispy, you know? And then I wanted to, in my veggie burrito, it has zucchini, um, oh my god, it's all over the place. It is packed with zucchini, oh, it's so hot, that's how you can tell it's fresh. Zucchini, cheese, potatoes, eggs, and mushrooms, so good. This is my first time trying this one. So um, I'm pretty sure I'll like it. I love burritos, especially when it's packed with a bunch of veggies and protein. And so, yeah, let's dig in and let's get on with this update. Okay, I'm just gonna have to put my phone right here because it's been really hard to like find a good placement. And where I, where I had put my phone last time to record, it's just not cooperating today. So let me just... Amen. Okay. Let's take a bite of the bacon. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And of course, I got water again. Back to my ultrasound. Um, apparently, at 20 weeks, uh, that's when most women start to gain weight in their pregnancy. So, which really relieves me because I thought, um, you know, man is, I'm just not gaining weight. Is this like not healthy for me and the baby? And no, the, doc the nurse actually, it was the nurse that told me because she was the one that was doing my ultrasound and I was just asking her questions. And then the doctor usually comes in to review everything she like, um, I guess he, I guess did on my ultrasound so he's just there to confirm you know everything looks good da 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 and then he uh, also does ultrasound just to make sure that they um, evaluated or got the same information right so the nurse had told me that you know it's completely normal for women to actually lose weight um, before 20 weeks so because you know you're feeling all sick and then um, for some women it disappears for, for others it like it lasts throughout the whole pregnancy so it just depends on you know the type of person you are how your body reacts and so yeah that's that's some new information that I heard in which I'm a re relieved but um, everything was good like the baby you know was the size is supposed to be at 19 weeks I, I wasn't aware of how little the baby was, you know what I mean? Um, even though I'm still really small, it's crazy to think that the size of um, my son's hand right now, um, according to the nurse, is like the size of my thumbnail, which is crazy. And um, his heartbeat, because you know on the ultrasound it's magnified, so that's not how big the baby is um it's probably like the size of my, the palm of my hand it can fit in the palm of my hand um and his heart is like the size of an m m so i just thought that was really interesting um to know and yeah just like just doing the whole point of the ultrasound was just, just make sure the baby's okay and then if i had any questions um you know, I'd ask them and they would tell me. So that's the only thing about like going to the hospital or to the doctor, like they will only tell you information if you ask. Just like they will only assess um, unless you tell them like something's up. Like let's say if your chest is hurting or whatever, that's that will be the only time they'll assess you. But if you don't say anything, then they just won't check it and you'll never know so I guess bottom line is like I think it's always good to just ask 
just to make sure but then again like eh, I, I know everybody's different with how they view that like some people just don't want to get checked because they don't want to be given medication and just because they know that they don't believe in medi the medication if you know what I mean so yeah that's that and then one more thing um she just told me to watch out for and even the doctor is that my placenta or or like the sac uh is very low um i believe she said it's like where my pelvis is um just very low down in my abdomen and um she said that if it doesn't move by uh how many weeks does she say? Basically by the next time I get checked, which is sometime in June, um, then I would have to do a C-section, which I am not looking forward to because naturally you're supposed to give birth, you know, vaginally. But um, I guess if it's meant to be that way, it's meant to be that way. And I asked her, I was like, is there anything I could have done like you know to prevent this and she was like no um some women just have this um it's very unpredictable that's why we do these checkups and i was like okay it's hot it's hot Other than that, everything's fine, but right now at 19 weeks, the baby, you know, is still small. It's fully developed, like it developed its like arms, legs, eyes, its features, right? It just needs to grow in size. And that's where they grow in size is where like at the 20 week mark until birth, right? So um, at least that's what the nurse told me. I have my doctor's visit, so it's different from the ultrasound, um, where they, where I actually have to pee, they check my vitals, um, and everything like that. I meet up with the midwife or the nurse practitioner, um, and I do a checkup every month, or every, yeah, basically every month, or every four weeks. And so I have that, like, April something, I need to go check to make sure I know the date and time but yeah that's my next appointment and then i'll keep you guys updated um what else see i'm just like it's so good mm-mm-mm -hmm. And did you know, spinach will help with iron because apparently um, a lot of women tend to be like, tend to have a, like an iron deficiency or not have enough iron. I believe they call it like anemia or something like that. And um, with spinach, it has a great source of iron and you don't need to eat that much spinach. I think that's all I have to say. I can finally finish my food now. That burrito, because it was so nutrient dense, I am full. I'm just going to end the mukbang here. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please comment down below if you are a new subscriber. I would love to, you know, know who you are. Um, thank you to those that just recently followed me. I really appreciate it. Um, comment below what you want to see. Um, or anything. <laughs> uh, follow me on all my social media accounts. I'll do my best to update. Um, keep you guys updated. 
But yes, stay tuned for next video. Peace. Bye.